<laughs> How you doing out there in YouTube land? Listen, we got the three brosket. Ooh, three brosketeers. Wow. Here, it's not bad. Wow. Um. So guess what? Zelda. So uh, this is the first dungeon that I'm going to probably just completely break. Um, it's actually a trick that I wasn't able to accomplish until about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> good. Um, but I got it. I got it like four times in a row. So I think I think it's good now. But it's a it's a weird glitch called ground jump or ground hop or something like that. And what you do is that you manipulate this bomb, and like you pretend it's being picked up. So. Okay, that one. So you have to like roll over to it. That is what you're saying. That's no. What you do? I'll, I'll just show it before uh, I go over there to try to do it real quick. But uh, so you grab a bomb and you place it down. You take. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Don't worry about it. The problem is that not, when you, that when you let go of the analog stick, you still have a little bit of momentum, so you can't just, like, automatically do it. So you do this. All right, so I did it right. Um, you see, I, like, um, I shielded my shield for, like, a second, and now I can't do anything. I can't use my C buttons. What the heck? Or, uh, like, uh, do my sword. Okay. So now what I can do is that I can hop on the ground and the best one to do is backflip because it has the most vertical momentum. And I just kind of like jump like that. And what that does is that over there you see that really like kind of short cliff. Yeah. But uh, Link is too short in his like child form to get it. Uh, if you do that over there and then store that jump you can get bombs like super early and you don't have to do any of the dungeon wow so the only bad thing about it is that once you jump off a ledge then it cancels the storage of the jump so what i have to do is that i have to throw it over there do it really quick and then um hope i can do it in time i like this okay. how do you know that you did it though when you uh Wow, there it is. That's there, really cool. But how do you? How do you? It, it didn't. It didn't look. It didn't look like you did when you, anything. When you when you sheath your or whatever the word is, your shield, like you put it on your back for like <laughs> a amazing. little tiny second, then you know you did it. Is that what like a one hundred percent runner would do? Yes. Meat. Or just like any runner that would actually go and get bombs. Like That's true. The run. That's neat. Do but you yeah. do you do that at any other point? It's helpful a couple points. I'm not aware of any of them right now. Um, I haven't really played this game too much because I've been playing Persona 5 recently, but uh, I'm hoping to finish that in the next day or two. And then after that, uh, like, really get to know this game. I hope... I think it'll be fun. So this dungeon isn't too much different from the original. Now, this is pretty different because you can go up on the top, like, almost immediately, where the other one you had to do, like, a mini-boss and then come back on the top to hit the switch. So, right now you're not supposed to have bombs, so you really can't do anything. There's like a switch over on that like left area over there that you can get and then it opens that door that's blocked. But uh, I have bombs, so I don't even have to do the dungeon. Wow. And honestly, like, there's nothing other than a couple um, gold scalitas and there's no reason to do the rest, so... And you're not doing all 100, because that's dumb anyway. Yeah, I'll try to get 50, but... Yeah, I think 50 is reasonable. You'll find 50 throughout just playing the game, you know? Oh, and you're not supposed to have bombs, so you're not supposed to be able to do that. And that opens the... What is that, the boss? Yeah. Uh, there's a little bit more that I have to do, uh, but not too much. Huh. That's pretty cool. But yeah, what what like most runs do is that they actually just go to adult and then they come back here and do Dodongo's Cavern as the adult and you're allowed to do that and then you don't have to do bomb storage you just jump up to that ledge because it's so short I didn't think about that can you do you can do this one as adult can you do you can't do Jabu as an adult huh the third no Jabu's one? gone um or he's like frozen or no he's just gone he's just not there that's right huh and, 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 
you have to do Dooku Tree as an adult, or as a kid, because as an adult, he's dead. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting that you can do this as an adult. I do not remember... This is interesting because this I'm, is, uh, I'm master quest, yeah I'm de I'm decently familiar with the normal so when you see something like this I'm like hmm yeah because so, I don't remember this at all yeah uh, for right now I don't think the dungeons are too terribly different or like difficult Jabu I did a little bit of and I thought it was pretty weird oh, I don't have to go in there um a lot of this dungeon that I skipped is a lot of these bomb flowers that kind of like create chain reactions that go up to, like, switches and stuff. And then make, like, a platform over here. But that's, like, a lot of the dungeon. And it's alright. I remember the... adult, uh, dungeon for this is pretty confusing. The Dodongo one or whatever. Yeah, in, in, the, in the crater. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I forget what, where it was. So that's that's it. I'm done. Do you need the boss key? No, there's no keys or boss keys until the adult dungeons. That's the the major difference between the two eras. Wait, so there aren't any boss keys or even in the normal keys. one. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I don't think I ever noticed that. Uh, I watched the, I guess the guy who currently holds this, the world record for, like, the very glitched one where you can beat the game in 15 minutes, and it was pretty fun to watch. It's kind of amazing how you beat, it's 17 minutes, it's kind of amazing how he beats it in 17 minutes, and the first four, because you start the second you press start, so the first four minutes is not even moving. So literally beating the game in 13 minutes, you know, that's pretty crazy. So what I want to do here is use stick jump, because it does the most damage, so I only have to hit him twice. Wait, so... The stick does, I think, either two or three damage, and the jump slash does one more damage, so you're doing, like, four damage, where you're really only supposed to do one. Huh. So, uh... Oh. <laughs> is that a thing where, uh... The, De the Deku stick is, like, normally stronger than Yeah, because the it breaks in one swing, they probably made it stronger. That makes sense. For that reason. But he should have been dead, I just didn't do the jump slash because I'm an idiot. Rip. What a, what a long dungeon. <laughs> that was actually really cool to see. And like, that's just another, another one of the examples where I'm like, how did anyone ever figure that out? Yeah. It's like, you almost have to look at the code of the game to be like, oh yeah. If I put my shield up at the right minute, it stores something else. Yeah, and honestly, like, if you look at the history of, like, Oot speedrunning, like, some of these tricks took years to find out. So, they're pretty, like, weird. I just, I remember how it was even a couple of years ago. It's, like, nothing, nothing like it is now, you know? Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Obviously, with the, kind of the lifestyle of Twitch and speedrunners able to, uh, um, Me. pretty much speedrun every day because as they're living now they can make money off of it they don't have to make a job or do anything they can really like pick games apart at this point I uh I don't know I, I don't know if I could do that even if like instead of going to work if if everything else was the same but during the time it, like that I would normally be at work I just like speedrun games I don't know if I could. It seems so monotonous. Uh, it also seems pretty stressful because you always have to be like, I hope people watch me. And also you have to like communicate with Twitch chat and like talk to people. Cause you really can't like be a big name without like having like a face cam and like commentary and stuff like that. So yeah. You can't just like focus on your run and be like, hey, I have 2000 views. You have to like be a personality and always be on. And you have to be, be funny. you have to be talking to the the chat constantly so you have to pick your times like at this point you could be like answering questions but like during actual gameplay you like can't really yeah, yeah uh playing video games for a living sounds like it sucks ass i'm not gonna lie especially like all the people that do the really long speed runs 
Like well, I, they're in, they're just insane. They're insane. I was watching a banjo banjo tui, excuse me, because banjo tui a hundred percent run is yeah. like four hours twenty five minutes or something like that, and the guy was like he uploaded it to YouTube and was like, uh, I made several mistakes and I'm pretty upset about it, but it's a four and a half hour run, so I, I don't really know what to do. Oh, talking about banjo uh, speed yeah. runs, I saw that Kazooie. They finally figured out how to skip the uh, the furnace fun part with the. Uh, like the blocks right at the end. Um, what? Well, yeah, it's where you, it's. <laughs> are you talking about the the skip part? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you skip it all, and they've been looking for that for like th like three or four years, and they finally found it. Wait, are you talking about the whole thing or just part of it? Because the one that I knew was you can like you get about you like skip a, like almost. All of okay, it. yeah, I was gonna say you get about a third of the way through, and then it like knocks you like backwards. That's pretty crazy. I wonder if Stivity figured that out. I th I don't think it was him. I think I found or I watched a video on like uh, the discovery of that trick, and it was just a, I think it was just like a random guy. By the way, I hate this part in particular. Stivity must have been like, "Thanks, mate." <laughs> yeah, he he probably didn't care at all. He was just like, "Oh yeah, cool." <laughs> so this part, if you back. Uh, back walk, you go too fast for, like, the rocks to even hit you, so you don't even have to worry about it. Huh. Did you know that, Ben? I knew it. Hmm. Just from my casual experience uh, with this game when I was eight. Yeah, Ben was the original OG. Yeah. They're actually finding out tricks that, uh, I knew a long time ago. And you just They're refused to tell anyone? Yeah. You're just like, you don't need to know, son. I'm like, uh, I'm like that in an obscure Japanese speedrunner who somehow knows all the tricks years ahead of time, but he won't tell anyone how to do it. Curse you, Ben. <laughs> I just like, I like the Skullita just being there forever. I love the, uh... I love the stealth mechanic. Can, can you blow up the owl? What? Hey, watch this. Uh, cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're traveling too fast for the camera. <laughs> nice walking <laughs> slightly faster. Yeah, and the very jittery scream. <laughs> so, what was the reason for that one? Uh, it's something called Infinite Sword Glitch. I don't understand it at all, but uh, if you do a crouch stab, and like grab something or like read a sign, um, you activate this state where uh, every frame the sword has a hitbox, so you can just walk into things and it hurts them. And uh, if you do something like store, like jumping slash uh, stick, which does four damage, you can have that as your stored, like, attack, so you can just do four damage every frame. And Dang. then, for some reason, it mess up, messes up the uh, camera and, like, just makes the game act really weird. I, uh... That would kill bosses real fast. A lot of bosses have a lot of uh, invincibility frames, so you can't, like, just be, like, uh, done. Because they have, like, an animation that you can't hit them until they do something else, but... There's some of them that definitely can be fought really quick. In that, um, real quick 17 minute run, uh, because he goes to Ganon as a kid, like, it's just kind of funny to see, like, <laughs> the camera when it shows Link that doesn't, sh it only shows, like, the very top of his head because he's supposed to be taller. Yeah. There's, there's some cutscenes when you can do them as child and they try to make him the height of adult length, so he like either floats in the air or like <laughs> is it's it acts really weird. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And he I don't know I don't he didn't explain it obviously. I don't know the reason but he uh kills Ganon with a Deku stick. Like I guess he does that infinite sword yeah, thing. Yeah that, that's exactly what he does. Okay. Yeah. So that does as what as much damage as a Master Sword? It does more because it does as much as like bigger on uh, jump slash, which is why you can what, probably die. What the Deku die. stick? Yeah. Well, what the heck? Why are we using these all the time? <laughs> because I don't have a lot. It's a stick. They break in. They break in a hit. Okay. All right. 
Ooh. My heart piece. I guess since I really don't have a whole lot to do, I'll just go find some heart pieces that I'm not aware of. Are you are you planning on doing uh I I do not know all of Jabu, so I'm not gonna do it. But gotcha. I'll, go, I'll, I'll go to Zora's domain and get that ready. Cool. You can do the mini games in Cocker in uh what you call it. I actually did some of them off screen because I figured that whatever. Ripperino. I did a couple things. I can go back to uh I don't care, whatever works is fine. Uh, let's go back to Long Long Ranch for a sec. Another part piece. You need to go to do do do. Can you do that bomb thing? No. I don't know how to do it. I don't know if it's... It, it just looks like timing, where you, like, put it down and then roll into it. What, uh, what I don't understand is that you have to roll and then set off another bomb immediately. So it takes two bombs. Oh, really? And I don't know how to do that. Huh. I don't think I... Uh, I don't think I ever noticed that it takes two. Rip, run over. Wow. Wow, look at that. Wait, am I... Okay. I'm the worst. Reset! Teleport! I really devoted a lot of time into this game. Well, just the fact that you knew how to do that first part is pretty cool. Yeah, and like I said, like I tried it at home for about a half an hour, and then I came here, and then did it for another 20 minutes, and that's... I pretty much know it now. Huh. That's pretty cool. Where is this? At least that's, uh... At least that's like nice and uh, nice and easy trick to pick up. Yeah, and it's pretty easy. Like once you just right, at least, once you just get it. So Ben, how are you? Doing all right. Doing good. Doing good. Y'all hype for StarCraft? Um. Did they release that HD one yet? No, they didn't. It's not coming out until like summer. Yeah. Well, they have to, you know, finish up on it. Maybe release a beta or something. I don't know. If you ask me, it's somewhere out there already. Um, yeah. Know what uh, I'm saying? I'm gonna agree with that. Uh, <laughs> on account of the weather. Yeah! What? That weather we all know and love. Why is that your reasoning? Uh, because it's a scorcher out there, Wait, folks. Where am I? <laughs> oh, okay. Of course, like, actual speedrunners, like, have this setup where they, like, do, like, a roll and then, like, a side hop and then they clip through the box, but it's, like, impossible to know that. Yeah, you'd have to, like, just literally emulate the speedrunners, and that seems... At that point, you're putting a little too much work yeah. into it. Guess I'll go get a Punga song. Oh, baby. You gotta talk to Waifu. Is it Marin? Or am I it, thinking of? It's, uh... Starts with an M, that's what I know. Yeah, I forget her name. Malin, I think. Malin! Uh, it's Marin. Mark Marin. Mark Marin? Was Marin from a... It's the fairy boy again. Wow, are you guys... Uh, it's like me when I was growing up. And uh, I had older brothers who would call me that. Fairy boy? Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, older brothers are not kind. Oh. And, uh, especially if they're uh, a fair bit more masculine than you. Then they call you fairy boy, but you know what? You grow into it, and you really... I'm gonna cry now. You you play ocarina like no one else. <laughs> you get a real-life ocarina and go, I'll show you! You get, you get shoved into a few closets, and you come out playing a beautiful song. And you're like, here's the bolero of fire, okay? I learned it. And to this, spite you! This song plays from out of nowhere. No one's playing an instrument, it's just, uh, is, is oh, the, I is, learned something. Is the owl me, like, flying around looking at you being like, 
Good job, Ben! Hoot hoot! Weirdly, no. they're, they're supposed to be no. music playing. I don't know exactly why it's not playing, other than her singing. I think it's because I came here, like, right at the morning starting. Yeah, it's supposed to play that... Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, um... Oh. Alright, keep track of these chickens that he throws. Ready, Ben? I've forgotten already. Ah, gosh dang it. Look, there's the red chickens and the white chickens. The uh, pol the PC term Malin, for furry boy is forest boy. Forest boy? Yeah. Are you Tarzan? That's what, uh... What is this guy's name? It's Slow Talker, who talks slow. Yeah. Mustache man. It's, uh, can't skip dialogue, <laughs> man. Uh, Farmer Mario. Talon? <laughs> there's one of them called Talon. I think it's Talon. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, there. That's all I want. Get back here. Right. I have no idea. One went over here. Okay. And I have no idea on the last one. I knew. I saw that one. All right, just pick them up. Oh, dude. Oh. My lord. You know what, uh, you know what game I, uh... He, he let you skip the dialogue where he oh, asked I you think... to marry his daughter. Yeah, that's exactly...